All right, I've been wanting to show a video about this uh, radiator cap issue. A lot of people don't know when to check it, when to change it, how to know whether it needs changed or not. And so this vehicle comes in, it's a prime example with that problem. So you're overheating just a little bit, it only happens on longer runs, or maybe when the car is just sitting at an idle, or maybe when it's at high speeds, but it's just a little bit and it goes away, and sometimes you add water and sometimes it doesn't need to, but periodically you need a little bit of water. You've checked your oil, there's no oil in there. You've looked underneath, there's no dripping, there's no evaporation, there's no steam on the engine, and you just don't understand it. Here is a very common thing that a lot of mechanics that are crooked will try to take advantage of you on, telling you need water pump, you need radiator uh, hoses, you need belts, etc. because you go in there with this little dinky problem and it ends up being something silly and stupid. It's your radiator cap. So look around your thermostat housing, this particular one, you can see the white stuff right there. That's coming out of the radiator. It's just barely seeping. That means you have a bad cap and it's time to change it. But over time, this little bit of a leak right here, is, it's not gonna make much of a difference for a month, two months, and all of a sudden you're overheated and you don't understand why. So you add a little bit of water and then you don't have any problem again for another month or two and you just don't quite understand it, can't find it. Look real close. This one here, you can clearly see, but sometimes they're just right behind and they just run back along the the back of the engine there and then your exhaust is right here on these little front wheel drive cars so it just drips back there and the steam evaporates and you have no idea you even have the issue until you have the issue and then it overheats and it's always when you're on vacation going up a hill 500 miles from anywhere no service on your phone you know exactly what i'm talking about so uh anyway this cap is bad clearly it's not sealing because there's gunk on there too but if you look right down inside there you can see that seal is dried out right there's a crack anyway so it's bad. We need another radiator. So a uh, cap, not another radiator. I'm sorry. So I have bought one. And most of the time, these caps uh, are interchangeable with relief valves. I really like these because if you do have a problem down the road, you can just pop that. And you're not going to blow that cap up, hit you in the face, whatever. Hopefully you don't have any problems anymore. But if you do, these relief caps are really nice. And the crazy part, once again, uh, all of our auto parts store, they're the same price. So... I don't get it. You know, they, they want to charge you $15 for this little tiny piece of hose and uh, or a little tiny piece of plastic or whatever, but they can add that little piece there and, you know, uh, yeah, you get it. So anyway, change your radiator cap if you ever see that little bit of issue there and that should clear it up. Hope this helped you out. You guys have a great day. Click on my name underneath the video for all my other little how-to steps, easy, quick tip videos. Click like if you like it, and please subscribe if you, if you like it. There's about 100 videos there to help you out. I hope they help you out. Have a great day.